Okay, so hello friends, I'm Moon, and I know I should be creating video like this, but I'm in a hurry. Like I have to go somewhere. So yeah, let's get done with this as soon as possible. So right now, as you can see behind me, is my Hyperland setup. And since the last time I created a video about it, a lot has changed, and I've made it awesome, like the best PC experience I've ever seen. Awesome battery life, awesome performance, perfect for video editing. Consumes less battery. The temperatures are literally lower, and my favorite games, which were just now broken on Linux due to anti-cheat, are now working. A lot is gonna be covered in this video, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my high plan setup. I've already gone through all of the stuff as you can see right now here, like really all the stuff. But I have made a few changes, and you might wonder, like where are the changes made? Well, it's here. in the configurations of this whole desktop now let's start with the office so you see right now as you can see here the v bar it is awesome and it has functionality of rofi but no calendar application now i can add it but i like it this way but leaving that you see there was no wifi menu from where i could select my wifi or change my wifi or bluetooth or anything so i made it so you see let's start with the volume center When you click on it, it's gonna launch Power Control. Yep, it is awesome. And when you right-click on the volume, it's gonna launch Bluetooth. And now it times for the Wi-Fi. Now for it, I went on with NMTUI. It's awesome. It looks good. It works well with the theme, and I can select my Wi-Fi in the instant and do all sort of things. Now it might be a little complicated for people, but I like it less. You know this way. There were some other GUI options, but I went on with this one. Then leaving that, I have my normal battery percentage, and on the right of it, we have our power menus. Let's go with performance because I'm gonna need a little performance, you know. So let's start with the applications, okay? Now, what am I talking about? Let's start with the most important thing. This. Now let's start with the first one. I was able to install NVIDIA property drivers. But I've installed this NVIDIA DKMS driver instead of the official proprietary one. It is latest, but NVIDIA DKMS has an advantage. The whole kernel will be rebuilt every time we have an update on our NVIDIA driver, which is awesome. And besides that, this system is pretty lightweight for every work, so everything launches perfectly. Let me show you. So, for example, I mostly work on the Windows Resolve for video editing, okay? And as you can see, it launches pretty fast. Like actual fast, just like this. And recently, I edited a video of Chrome, and as you can see, this is the timeline. Let me just fix a few things. Okay, now you can see this was the timeline, and let me just mute a few things. So now you can see the timeline is working so smooth. I I did not had this on any operating system, like not even other Linux distributions, not even on Windows. But yeah, there is a drawback, you see. So I have my NVIDIA drivers, okay, this DKMS one, but it's not properly able to recognize a lot of things. Like I don't have much of extensions, not like I need them. Then we have thermals, and now since I've undervolted my CPU, my GPU has been working flawless, especially here. My max TGP is 50 watts, but I have limited it to 35 watts only. Undervolting is better when you need stability and well. sustainable performance instead of maximum performance now you might think like yeah maybe video editing is okay on this operating system but what about gaming well let me just show you so i recently installed steam because i wanted to test this performance of my hyperland setup and now this is time for the segue to our sponsor datasurf the smart local first browser that is built for creators dreamers or anyone who actually thinks on the internet and everything i researched for the video before the pre production was done inside data surf just like this and most browsers track you but data surf doesn't data surf is a local first browser so yes i use data surf and it's not just a browser for me it's a one stop destination for my workspace it is like my second brain and you can check data surf with the link in the description and let's continue the video particularly after undervolting my cpu and gpu both but in my surprise my performance has been increased multiple times now you see i have file id 4 which was nearly rendered unsupported or broken on linux this one thing i don't like that is these 
share is free cache updates every month now and then i don't like it but yeah they're important especially on linux so what what can we do but leaving that i played it today and why don't i just show you directly like yeah i'll be doing the pre shaders and stuff later because right now we are a game to play i want to show you the performance okay so right now as you can see i'm on power mode performance this should be okay and i'm going to enable all the other stuff like maybe nvidia gpu then let's not okay let me just send it to here now let me just do one thing okay okay so now as you can see okay so now as you can listen and everything here is our team and let's start it okay i'd like to show you the fps and the performance so as you can see everything is just so damn smooth like really man and i have no issues at all it's running at maximum graphics maybe let's check it out okay so when we go to display as you can see right now i'm on hd but i can go to ultimate peak is way too much for my gpu and cpu by the way i could not get the maximum performance even on windows especially on the peak graphics but it's not much of a difference and yeah by the way we have nvidia dlss support as well so yeah i'd like to show you for that i might be needing to go into a game so let's go yep warm up next and yeah by the way let me just show you one thing i'm recording in pretty high quality using nvidia's gpu and an insane amount of frame rate so yeah if you see a little performance difference don't be worried there we go and as you can see i'm right now having 70 80 fps yep okay we have oh man matched okay then so i'm going to show you the graphics in the main game instead and yeah by the way this this reminds me of something to be honest let me just launch a few things first okay when just predict as you can see it is only reaching 35 watts not reaching 50 as it should be because i've undervolted my cpu but leaving that you see there's one thing i forgot to do so i needed to configure one thing let's go to hyperland hyper 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 all right configurations then hyperland then hyperland as you can see i need to turn off my mouse acceleration but yeah here we are on the game let me just go somewhere like a really competitive place but yeah i'd like to get back to my preferred graphics which is hd to get a decent amount of fps because right now i'm recording to okay so right now i am around 80 70 fps let's go to city center yep looks like we have company okay then this is indeed a nice loot to be honest like yeah it looks good well since we are here let's play a game okay like just a match all right then so i have planned to play just a little game and yeah now you see the fps around here i am around 80 280 like mostly above 75 all the time yep mostly around 75 plus all right then i like to play just a little game like yeah just a little and yeah this gun looks damn good doesn't it like yeah it does let me just show you ak so here we are ak the graphics of the game are really nice like this is my favorite and when you launch it you see it is pretty nice all right then so i'll finish my game and meet you just in a second okay yep just in a second Okay then so I'm done playing the game and yeah the match did went well at the starting but eventually our team got wiped out but besides that after playing my GPU only reached 66 degrees which means all the heating issues I was facing were gone okay leaving that I have a lot of other stuff to show as well for example Proton Plus you see I got this application from Flatpak it is the best application if you are a gamer because you you have so many steam compatibility layers like for most of the games go with proton ge but if you want to play a little anti cheat sort of games most probably fallout ed4 or other games go on with proton em but if you have a game which you know works well on linux but you want compatibility stability and performance go with the proton catchy os1 it has regular updates with a lot of fixes like really a lot of them right now i have proton em 10 this is the best for games with anti cheats of a sort and yeah i just have to do this and it'll be done like it'll be done so yeah it is good like and we, you know from here we can 
go to different places if we want to. And now this game is supported thanks to Proton EM. Nice. Now leaving that, what shall what else shall I show you? Like I have my keyboard shortcuts, Windows E equals for Explorer. Let me just fix that. Okay, better. And I have direct access to my Windows partition. You know, I am dual booting right now. So as you can see, this is my Windows partition. I have all my games and stuff here. This is particularly my profile. You know, all the things on Windows I have are here. And you see, these are things which I like the most, to be honest. Like, yeah, these are good. And they work well, to be honest. And especially these floating windows, like I can do this, then this. The animations of flat packs are one of the best things, to be honest. Like, whatever you launch. Let's say I'm launching GDK settings. No, that'll be a little too much. But let's say I'm install, you know, launching edge top, okay? There we are. And yeah, there's one more thing I'd like to show you, which is even better. My win wallpaper setup like the themes so i just have to go to a terminal type wall set enter and i have these installed themes let's say i want this one enter it's gonna change everything and there we go this is actually awesome isn't it but i don't like this to be honest so let's go again wall set we have this one as well this one is actually good like pretty good as you can see but to have a normal and calming setup we have other stuff as well. But to be honest, this is just awesome. Like, actual awesome. Shall I just, you know, use this one as my thumbnail? Like, yeah, I can. Then run. Let's try something else. For example, let's try maybe B-top. Do I have B-top? No. H-top. There it is. H-top. What about Neo-fetch? How would this be? I like this P-fetch one a little better. Let me just get back. Do a lot of stuff. Make a lot of them. Then a patch, enter, windows V. Nah, I like it this way. Let's use this one as wallpaper. No, like the thumbnail for the video. Yep, it would look good, won't it? It should look good. Let me just use it there. Yep, just like that. It does look good. Then we have our roof file, which also looks good. But to be honest, this is the best experience of using a personal computer in my life. I have DaVinci Resolve Studio version working awesome flawlessly. Then I have my OBS working great. And then we have other like my favorite game running at amazing performance and stability. What else do I need on a laptop or a desktop? And they're talking about laptop. I can just go to power saver mode and it will actually save power like a significant amount. I've used my battery life like right now it is 62%. Now, if I were to use it right now for video editing, I could go for around 2 hours in this battery life on video editing. If I just were to use it for normal day to day tasks, I can easily reach maybe 4 hours. Or if I just reduce my brightness like this, I'll be able to reach even more like 5 hours just with 60% of battery life. This is crazy. Now, I could have gone with auto CPU frag, but I like it this way. Like, yeah, things just work then, but. Why do you need to change them if they're working? People call it making things better. I call it waste of time. Especially you're doing something you don't need to do and it's not that important. And you don't want to do either. You're just doing it because you're gonna think it'll be better than what I have right now. While your current state satisfies all your needs. Yeah, these were some very serious words I said. But leaving that, everything works just awesome. And nice. And yeah, I believe that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And yeah, bye bye.